What should I do? My mother is going to have a heart attack if she hears this. You know to your mother. a mess. A few months ago, I came here to seek a new life. But look at me. I am pregnant. I'm not just pregnant, but I am pregnant for my friend's father. And my brother is missing. Nowhere to be found. Wait, your brother is missing. Since when? Oh, goodness. How come you've not told anyone? No. When will you learn to share your problems for goodness sake? No, I meant to say he was missing. But he's been found. I just got off the phone with my mom. He has not said a word since he came back. My dear, come here. God, come here. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Just calm down. I believe everything will be all right, okay? Everything will be fine. This is not my problem. I have got bigger problems than this, Mimi. Only if you knew what I had hot on my tail. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I don't need to be this me. And, and I normally spend my weekends here. Oh, sure, but sure. But if sure. you have any other thing arranged, I can't. No, 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 my love, no. That's not what I mean, okay? I'm fine. Okay, go yeah. freshen up. Do you know i shop ready
See, baby, I'm so, so sorry. I should have not allowed him to come over. I never knew he would do something like that. Please. You do know, Ibuka. You do. You guys have been friends since like forever. And you tell me you didn't know he would do this. What kind of a bullshit is that? Well, well I get it. All right. See, you're already angry. Fine. I'm sorry. But look, baby, you've got to cut down on your weird assumptions about the prince. Trust me, that guy is a very nice guy when you get to know him. Believe me. I do know him all right, Tebuka. I do. Remember when we first met? How apprehensive and all I was? God, it was even so hard to say yes to you for a common date. And that was because of him. And that didn't teach you anything. I know, but... Look, I trust you, but that trust is always questioned whenever you're with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Babe, you don't trust me? Just when you're with him. You've got to really work hard in this trust issue on me. Because you can't be judging me based on my friend's behavior. No, 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 no. You have to give me more than that. Your friend? Your friend, you say? That means you're not even anywhere close to stop being friends with him. Chioma, can you just stop? Can you just stop? Hold on, let me get it. Are you trying to tell me to choose between you and my friend? No, no, I won't do that. Because I already know what to do. I'm not going to choose between you two. Alright? See, you should learn how to tolerate some things he's going to do. Yes. Oh, wow. So there's going to be a repeat. Just wow. Chama, can you just stop? You are being ridiculous here, baby. Stop. See, you don't know Prince very well. What that guy has been through and what he's battling with. Just the little ugly sides of him, you know. But trust me, Prince is a nice guy. Do you know what that guy has been through? He has been through so much. Me, myself, I'm even surprised he, that he hasn't broken down. Honestly. Look, look, Ibuka. I don't care what he has been through or not. All I am trying to let you know is that your friendship with him is going to cost you dearly if you don't put an end to it. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Baby, what did you just say? Babe? I'll be sorry. Are you threatening to break up with me? Come on, babe. No. Babe! Listen, I don't know why you are flaring up. I've told you several times, anytime you call me, settle down and speak like a civilized citizen. Yes, there's a problem, I know that. And I told you I am handling it my end. Why can't you understand that? Hey, listen, listen. Do not rush to take the laws into your own hand because you are going to regret it. You will regret it and then you will begin to look for somebody you will blame and not blame yourself. You know what? I will go. I will have to call you back. There is a lady that just came in to me now, and uh, I don't like the way she's looking. So I will have to call you back. Let me let me attend to her, and then I will call you back, and I will attend to you. Zina, what is it? Why are you putting up this attitude before me? I should be asking you, Bishop. I don't understand anything. What is happening? Where? You don't call me anymore. Neither does Omega. What is happening? Is it possible for you to calm down? And I will begin to explain. Can you? Should I? Yes. Because it seems you have suddenly replaced me with someone else. That the king couldn't as little as bother to pick up his phone whenever I call. Much less call back. Who the hell is that you brought to him that kept him grounded? You know, the, the kind of funny words you use at times, you know, I get confused. Grounded. Now you believe there is a woman who can actually get the king grounded. 
Listen, Zina, you are the one who started all these problems. I took you to the king for you to go there and do what you can do and collect the money you can collect. Instead, you went to the palace and started falling in love with the king. To the extent you told me to my face that the king is now your property. How is that possible? Do you know even know the king we are talking about? We are talking about the Solomon of Obodenu. A man who is the Casanova king. Who is changing his women as if they are handkerchief. That is the man that uh, you now want to come and uh, uh, exercise ownership over. Listen, if you have killed this love nonsense, that you have now decided you want to go back to the palace and continue from where you stop, then I will make up my mind and I will take you back to the king. That is just as simple as that. Okay? That's it. What is this news that trended last few days? <laughs> so, so that's where we are going now. Okay, no problem. The news is nonsense. Just useless bloggers writing rubbish online to drag traffic to their various sites. Maybe something is telling them that was how Linda started. That's what they believe. That's what they are writing nonsense. Okay, I need an update on that cost friend of the princess. What is the king doing about her? I just draw a career. What is the king doing about her? You know what? If you are prepared, I will take you to the palace. Then you can ask the king that. Ask him, uh, what are you planning about this girl? Join your hands or sign. To the best of my knowledge, I have not met you two before. So why are you girls in my house, ranting like mad dogs? Exactly who we are. Mad ladies who can go all out to do with us. What are you saying? What we are saying is, King Solomon of Obodenu is our man. But you heard that he is our man. And you must stay far away from him. Yes. If you don't want to lose your life, you must stay far away from King Solomon. Do not force us to pay you this visit again. Else, you will pay with your life. Do not force us to pay you this visit again. Let's go. This is so messed up. How did you get yourself involved in this kind of mess? First, it was an older man who happens to be your friend's father. And now, you've got his slut after you, trying to devour you. Look, you have to do something about this. I am trying to work out something. I'm not seated here with folded arms. I'm trying. Well, it doesn't seem to me like you are doing much. Those girls shouldn't be out there making a mockery of the little dignity you have left. Mimi, please. Do not add to this. If you want to insult me, at least wait. Let me finish handling those two. Please. Come on, Ugoa. I am not trying to be mean here. It's this is, this is too much. Hello? Hello, Mudi. I'm calling to inform you about some guests who came here to threaten Ugonwa because of the king. There is no name they did not call her. And they threatened to kill her if she doesn't stay away from the king. What? That is unbelievable. What in the world gave them the effrontery? I don't know, princess, but you have to do something before they do something terrible to her. Please, stay with her. No matter what happens, stay with her for I am going to end this mess. 
I'll try and be here with her, but you have to do something as soon as possible. Or I'll be forced to call the police on them. Don't leave her sight. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Don't, just stay. Don't you think you're too committed to this job? Why are you not really committed, Nkumi? This is a job that pays me well. Of course I'll be committed. Where is my father? My princess, he's in his chambers, but he said not to be disturbed. Princess. Yes. I'm sorry, you can't go in there. The king placed an order not to be disturbed, and you know what that means. I'm sorry. That's what he said. My princess! Oh, my beautiful baby. Why did you bring the bathroom here with me and why I wash your body clean? Just take all the time you need, Your Majesty. I'll be right here waiting. I'm ready for you to do to me what you so desire. I know, right? You're just one sexy little person. And I'm your king, right? Oh, that you know, Your Majesty. Dad? And I'm your king, right? Under. What the hell is going on here? And so, your father. Dad! I am. Oh. What is this? Buddy, what are you doing here? I will do the question. Daddy, what is this thing doing here in your room? And how many times did I warn you to know your place in this palace? <laughs> hey, kitty cat, off you go. Room. Hey, 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 so you were full aware of what my father was doing in his room and with whom he was chilling. How dare you! I'm sorry, my princess. I was only following orders. Foolish shit, you to obey foolish orders. Now listen to me and listen good. I never, ever want to see any maiden come to this palace and enter my father's room. Do you hear me? Take this message and pass it on to all of your colleagues. If you flaunt these orders, you are fired. You understand? Get out of my sight! Why is everyone making this job so difficult? Everyone with their own orders. Which then will I obey? I don't get it, really. I mean, why would a daughter be talking to the father like she was the mother? I mean, that girl has gone completely mad. She has gone psycho. Look at the way she talks to me. Is she even aware of what I'm capable of doing as a king? Well, Dad, I can understand that you're angry. But we can't blame her now. We're all looking out for you, Dad. This whole thing has gone on for too long. As a matter of fact, we don't even care. Come, you get married to right now. We just want all of this to come to an end. It's about time, Dad. Look at it that way. <laughs> oh, you too. Ah, oh, come to think of it. Where does your own opinion factor in, in all of this? Because as far as I'm concerned, you're worse than I am. If you put it that way, Dad, I'll say that I've been following your footsteps. Oh yes, that you haven't been much of a father to us. 
much less an advisor. You just do what you want to do when you want to do it. Well, today is not a day for all of that, Father. We, as a children, we are asking you to put an end to this now. Put an end to this lifestyle, Dad. Please. You do know for sure that you cannot tell me what to do. You cannot tell me how to live my life. I have my life to live. You live yours. True, Father. I agree. But you should, in my humble opinion, pay more attention to your life. You're not just our Father. You are a king. You are the king of Obodin. You represent this kingdom. You're the first citizen of this kingdom. People look up to you. Okay, so that's where you see it. In that case, this discussion is over. Get out of my room. Get out. Get out before I do something silly that you would not like. Get out of my room! And you tell your sister that whatever she's concocting will not work. Useless boy. What has gotten into you, Woody? What, what is it? What has gotten into me? Jenny, that question should be directed right back at you. What has gotten into you? What manner of demon has possessed you to this point where you cannot behave yourself anymore? Look at you, Daddy. Picking and sleeping with girls that are old enough to pass off as your daughters. Now that is my life. You will not tell me how to live it. Oh, you are going to have to show me a dictionary that clearly depicts this lifestyle that is everything wrong. On one hand, there is Ugonma who is pregnant and carrying your child. On the other hand, there is still you, same you, daddy, picking and sleeping with young girls. Now, this is enough! How many times am I going to tell you that that pregnancy is not mine? <laughs> Oh, you are going to eventually stop throwing that dice at me because it's not going to fly. As far as you of all people condescended as low as going for my friend, pressured her so much so that her threshold for resistance failed, I will believe her a billion times over you. This has got to stop. You did the crime, Daddy. You do the time. You are going to marry Ugoma, whether you like it or not. I am going to marry Ugoma as what? A dead man. No. As a daughter who has taken it upon herself to get her father to do the right thing, you are going to marry Ugoma. Daddy, I have had just about enough of your essences, and I am more than ever so serious in my gimmicks to get you to behave and do the right thing. You will marry Ugonwa. Take her as your wife and save us the goddamn misery. But not this time. What the hell is she, is she doing here? Daddy, she's here to stay. Oh. She belongs here, Daddy. And please do not give her some heat. Because she has been through a lot these past days. She's in pretty bad shape. She needs a roof over her shoe. She needs a roof over her head. And not just any roof. A safe roof. This palace guarantees her safety more than any other place in the world right now. So would you please calm down? I should accord her what? Are, are, you, are you out of your mind? You took a decision to bring in a stranger into my palace and you think I cannot talk about it? I think you should accord her some safety and respect 
You know why, Daddy? Because she's carrying your child, and that makes her no stranger. Here we go again. Listen to me. Before I open my eyes that I'm going to close, I want her out of my palace! She is not going anywhere. No. My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is you. You, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.